Hello there, this is Giga Titan here, and I'm going to be helping you guys make your own background. So all you need to do is go into the description and click on the links for the templates. And you come to this really awesome page right here. And all you need to do is select one of the templates that you think is awesome. And all you need to have before this is download paint.net, and that is in the description as well. And all you basically do is go onto the template that you want, right click it, and click copy image. Once you already, I'm assuming you already have uh, Paint.net downloaded, but once you have that, you just need to open it right there in your little sidebar, wherever you open it. Then all you need to do is click or hit Control V, which is co or paste, and then you need to do expand the canvas, and then you should come out with this giant background thing, and it should be in 1600 pixels by 1600 pixels. If you hold Control and use your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Okay. So once you have that, it looks cool and all, but you want to get some images. So I just found this image of a flower on, you know, Bing. And just right click it and click copy. And then you just hold, uh, well, all you need to do is here is click on new layer right where I showed you. And layers are basically separate pictures. And when you put them all together, they become, you know, the one picture that you have. And it makes it so you can edit one part of the picture without editing and screwing up the rest. You see, uh, you just use that little move tool, just and it's uh, already selected, and you just hold uh, left, you know, left mouse button to drag it around. But if you want to get all the white out of your image, you need to left click on the magic wand tool, and then you can click around the, you know, the picture that you want to, all the, all the white and stuff, and then you press delete, and it gets rid of it all. And then you can just move it around wherever you want, and that kind of thing. Be aware though, if your image is, the background is white and you have something that is white in the image, uh, paint on that is much more limited than Photoshop in that aspect because you can't actually, it's very difficult to cut just around it. So if you're having like a picture of a soccer ball or something, or for you uh, British people, you know, Europeans, uh, a football, then what you'll need to do is use the eraser tool and manually go around the image. But you see how uh, having separate layers can avoid, uh, it keeps you from having to use the boxes like in my previous tutorial videos. But you can see uh, now you also can add text. So let's just go ahead and select you know a font and the size. You just click the little text button like I just showed you. And you just select a font. I like this one because it looks pretty, pretty gangster. It's also in my intro by the way. So I'm going to readjust the font size. And make sure to click New Layer. I didn't actually do this here. You, uh, I screwed up. I'm like, oh, crap. I didn't click the right one. But um, And you can also change the color by clicking that little palette down there. But I realized uh, I had, if you don't select a new layer, this happens. You see you drag whatever was on the layer with you. So that you need to always create a new layer every time you are adding something new so you can move it independently of other layers. And in the future, I will be posting more paint.net tutorials so I can show you more cool little effects you can do in customizing your background. So then again, I um, or again I just go back and I just reselect all this stuff. And so I have it on a new layer, and I'm going to go and type out just Giga Titan videos. And you're like, okay, that's pretty cool, but where would you put it? Usually the sidebar, um, the, the black on the sidebar, is pretty uh, a good place to put it. So all you need to do you have your uh, text layer selected and you can go up and you can click uh, I think it's image up there yeah and you can click you know you can pan and rotate so you click that button and all you need to do is set this setting at the top to 90 and then go ahead and click OK once you have that set up it should turn you know counterclockwise 90 degrees and then you go ahead and drag that and you can put it in the sidebar there and you can you know use all kinds of little effects you can check those out it's under the effects thing to change around the text a little but this uh, gets you some awesome looking uh, stuff in the side so you can put whatever text you want on both sidebars and so you can mess around with those settings and try it out you can uh, do all kinds of cool stuff with that once you're satisfied with how everything looks, all you need to do is click File and click Save As. Then from the drop-down list, switch to JPEG, because that makes it able to be saved onto an internet and be viewable on the internet. So then just name it wherever you want. And then you get this little window pop up, and what you need to do is make sure that the file size is under 256K. It should tell you right above where your image is 
how big this uh, the file size is. You just need to adjust the scroller until it's just under 256k. You want to get it as high as possible and then click OK. And just click on flatten and you're done. Then just go onto your YouTube account and click on themes and colors. And then uh, what you need to do is click advanced options and then you should have, uh, you know, be able to choose a background image. And you just find your uh, image that you want and double click it. And make sure to set the transparency levels uh, for both settings to 100%. That'll make sure that your background is viewable and it doesn't get covered up by the wrapper. And as you can see, now you can have an awesome looking YouTube background. You just gotta mess around with it and add any kind of effects you want and you know, looks cool. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. Uh, just rate it five stars if you really liked it. Leave a comment telling me how I did. There will probably be more templates up in the future, so you can go ahead and suggest those too. And to see the rest of my videos, please subscribe. And thank you guys very much for watching. And now here's some extra little tips that you can use. If you don't like the color of the background that you have, you want a more custom background, you can go to Image, and you can go to Hue and Saturation. And it should bring up this window. If you change the hue, with the scroller you can get to the precise color that you want the templates are just presets but you can actually completely change the colors and do whatever you want with them but the designs will still stay even if you change the hue and saturation now the saturation will just make it more vibrant or less vibrant but you can just leave that normal for the second little extra tip you can click image and then invert colors and you can just completely swap all the colors and now you have a white Little, uh, white little sidebar and then you can have the different co uh, colored swirls with black and darker colors so it looks really cool but you know it does look a little wild so it's up to you if you want to use this but you can get some pretty cool looking backgrounds this way now finally I just want to show you what each of these little modules are for this box right here is for your video so don't edit that this is for all of your videos in your playlist so just leave that normal and blank this is where all your sub, uh, information about you, like where to subscribe, and there's a little arrow that points to the subscribe button. Now this is where your channel description will go, so make sure it fits in there. And finally in the bottom I added a little spot where you can put any like advertisements for your certain series or videos, so that's kind of cool. So anyways guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this background. Share them with your friends just so that they can have a cool background too. Peace out guys.